All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you Tractor 1.2. There's not much to see here on the surface. It basically looks the same, but once we click into the preferences, I can show you some of the new differences. In the effects tab, you're gonna see you can switch from two effects, which you're used to seeing here, to four effects. Boom, you now have two on each side, and all four of those effects can be routed from each deck, all four at once, or each deck can be routed to a different effect. Next, you're gonna see that uh, you got three new effects, the beat slicer, the formant filter, and a peak filter, all of which sound pretty cool. And you need to add those to your list of pre-selected effects so that when you go into your effects list, you can select them here. The next big change is in the controller management tab. Here we've got the new device setup manager. All your devices, including your keyboard assignments and all MIDI controllers are gonna be in this window. The first thing you may notice are some modifier states, a bunch of numbers. You're probably wondering what do those do? Well, you don't have to worry about those. Basically what those do is display if a modifier is currently on. So if I held down shift, for instance, modifier seven turned on, that happens to be what I have that shift key assigned to. Don't worry about this section right now. In order to manage your MIDI assignments, you need to switch to the generic MIDI tab. Each one of these devices is essentially a device setup or a device configuration. So you can add as many devices as you want here and then configure uh, what should happen to them in here. For instance, let's go ahead and add a new generic MIDI device. Let's edit the name, test controller. So we now have a new test controller. We can add as many assignments as we want or import a TSI file that's been pre-created here. Now all of those MIDI assignments will be imported only to this particular generic MIDI tab. We can tell what controllers we want to use for these particular assignments. That was my VCI 100 mapping, so I'm going to assign my VCI 100 controller. Let's say I want to add another controller we need to add another device. We'll add another generic MIDI and we'll edit this name and call it new MIDI controller. Now we have a brand new assignment table in which we can add MIDI controllers for that MIDI controller. If we switch back to the VCI 100, you'll see that all those assignments are now only for this particular device. And this device is only working on the Vestax import and the Vestax MIDI output. You can also further focus in the device and say it should only control one of the four decks. Now, our new MIDI controller, we can add a control or import a TSI file. And anything that we put in this window will only be controlled on anything we define on this port. Right now it's receiving MIDI on all ports. So any MIDI controllers will be funneled into these commands. If we want to separate it, we need to define a different MIDI controller here, like the XP MIDI series. Another handy addition is in the transport tab. You can now adjust the play count minimum play time. This is a really helpful but simple change. Right now, it used to be if you loaded a deck into a track and played it even for a few seconds, it would be marked as played. You'd see this check mark right here. Now, you can raise this number so that only if you really play a track for more than 30 seconds or so, in this case 41 seconds, it'll be checked as played. Personally, this will be a big help. Also in the transport window, uh, there's the all important pitch bend sensitivity, which will allow you to make your pitch bends really nice and strong. And also the new pitch bend progressive sensitivity, which will basically simulate um, the pressure sensitivity with which you would touch a turntable platter. So the longer you hold a jog wheel, the stronger tractor will respond to those commands. Um, this is a huge improvement and makes MIDI controlled pitch bending much, much more uh, tactile. So that's just about it for Tractor 1.2. Uh, don't forget to visit us on the web at djtechtools.com where we've got lots of other things for you, including videos, tutorials, reviews, and more.